But now, we have to accept the responsibility for walking in health. That's got to be your responsibility. That's not your doctor's responsibility. That's your responsibility. And I just thought, you know, that there are a lot of things people don't know. And, you know, if you're talking about living 80, 90, 100 years, you're going to have to know some things about how to take care of your physical body. Now, there's never been a Nobel Prize winner ever lived to be 100. My favorite, Albert Einstein, who said one of my favorite things is insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome. And he died at 76 of something that Turkey wouldn't die from. He actually died of something that we got rid of in Turkey in 1947, ruptured aneurysms. He died of a ruptured aortic aneurysm, and um, it's caused by a simple deficiency of the mineral copper. Now, the first thing that you see on the outside when you have a copper deficiency is white, gray, and silver hair. And his doctor kind of missed that one. And then the next thing that happens is you get a breakdown of the elastic fibers in your body and you begin to get wrinkles and you look like you've been run over by a Hummer, just like Albert Einstein. Now, if he were to go to a plastic surgeon, that plastic surgeon give him Botox and a facelift or would they give him copper? He'd give him Botox and a facelift, right? Now, the next thing that happens is you get a breakdown of the elastic fibers in your body, you get a breakdown of the elastic fibers in your blood vessels, you get spider veins and varicose veins and hemorrhoids, which are varicose veins in a funny place. Elizabeth Israel, uh, they said, uh, well, what is your secret? Because she's still alive at 126. And she said, well, I grew up eating food that was fertilized without chemical fertilizer. It was grown without chemical fertilizer. Now, what do you think? that her mother and her grandmother as uh, young women, and she is a young woman, used for fertilizer in their garden to feed their family. Well, they used wood ashes. If you lived out in the country, if you had a parent or a grandparent who lived out in the country and they had a wood stove, you always put the wood ashes in the garden. Well, wood ashes are not carbon. Wood ashes are actually the minerals that are left when you burn away the carbon in the wood, and the okra, and the sweet potatoes, and the onions, and the garlic, and the corn, uh, the uh, tomatoes would all take up the minerals that these wood ashes contained in them and then you would eat those plants and you get minerals in that fashion that's by medication errors rising this is from 2006 it says that 1.5 million people are killed and injured every year right in america from prescription drugs every year 1.5 million there's more people killed and injured by prescription drugs every year than there are street drugs. We need to take the war on drugs out of the street and put them in the doctor's office.